Okay, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is health. Who wants to come in on that? Ali Parsons. <laughs> Leslie Ash. Now, she's just got compensation, didn't she? Because she got MRSA. The reason she was in hospital, right, was apparently she'd punctured a lung and broken two ribs during energetic sex. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking she was doing it wrong. <laughs> If somebody said to me, would you like to have sex, but it could end up in you puncturing your lung, <laughs> I think I'd go, oh, you go ahead, I'll sort myself out. <laughs> OK, let's spin the wheel again. The subject is George Bush. Who wants to come in? Oh, I'll go. <laughs> Well, what can I say about George Bush? Uh, he's doing a tremendous job and he's enormously popular right now. In the last poll in the United States, he came in just behind testicular cancer. <laughs> he's the only president I can remember who wears an American flag pin on his lapel. Why? So he can remember what country he's in charge of? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of America, <laughs> he's always banging on about 9-11, right? 9-11, 9-11. Or, as the rest of the world knows it, 11-9. <laughs> We're the only people who date that way. America's so arrogant because we put the month first. We think everybody knows what we mean. Imagine how perplexing that is to people in France. 9-11. <laughs> what happened on November 9th? <laughs> that was a good day. I got a hand job. Why are they crying all the time? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, that leaves us with Frankie and Fred. Let's spin the wheel. The next topic is modern men. Who wants to come in on that? Fred McCauley. There's a, there's a trend uh, for modern young men now to get waxed. I did recently have my legs waxed. I have to say it was for charity. And uh, my pals were saying, <laughs> have I had that done before, Macaulay? And I'm going, no. Oh, well, it could be painful. So I went along, I was ticket number 14, there were 13 ladies in front of me getting their legs waxed, and I was watching them with interest, and it seemed to be no bother at all. The wax is going on, it's kind of <coughs> Oh, Joanne, <coughs> what is it, Tess? <coughs> Who's picking the kids up? <coughs> oh, the old pair will get them. <laughs> Nothing to it, I think. I got up there, the wax was on. <coughs> What I didn't know is that women, when they're getting their legs waxed, have epidurals beforehand. <laughs> I mean, I'm not tempted, you know, to, to shave other parts of my anatomy, you know? I've been lonely and fed up in hotel rooms, but I've never once thought, I think I'll get the sharpest thing in my toilet bag out <laughs> and apply it to the wrinkliest part of my anatomy. <laughs> and I'm not talking about my elbows. <laughs> OK, let's see what we've been left with for Frankie. Let's spin the wheel. Children. <laughs> <laughs> what an unbelievably sinister photograph. <laughs> Don't worry, this is light-hearted whimsy. <laughs> I've got a, a wee baby now, he's nine months. I'm starting to get a bit fucking sick of him, to be honest. <laughs> I went to the bath. And going to the bath, it really does bring home the, the, the wonder, the miracle, I suppose, that is contraception. <laughs> Seriously, don't go. It's like watching the deleted scenes from Platoon. <laughs> I got a wee daughter now, she's four. And the, the other day, this is true, we're sitting having breakfast, and my daughter goes, Daddy, what's the best thing in the world? So I didn't even have to think about it, right? I said, Darling, you're the best thing in the world. Didn't even have to think about it. It's definitely you. And she sat there for a bit, and then she went, for me, it's sausages. Ladies and gentlemen, that round, the points go to Frankie and Graham.